Alright, so now, determine the direction of induced current in the loop for, okay, so he asked for direction of the induced current, okay, for the loop for A to B, number 1 is A to B, number 2 is B to C, and number 3 is C to D, okay, so uh, this is, uh, magnetic flux is actually, Magnetic flux are actually the magnetic field lines that crosses certain area. Uh, like this B, it has magnetic flux. A doesn't have magnetic flux. Okay, C has magnetic flux. D only has partial magnetic flux. Partial. And the other, this empty area has no magnetic flux. Okay. So find the direction of induced current. Okay, for these three condition. For the first condition, from A to B, as you can see, uh, uh, from A, A has no flux and uh, entering B, it has uh, full of flux, okay? So the change of flux here is um, the flux, the, this is the original flux, yeah? The flux is increasing, yeah? So this one, the flux is increasing. The original flux is increasing. So Lenz's law says to oppose the changes. To oppose the changes means uh, to oppose the increase in flux. In order to oppose increase in flux, it has to produce the opposite direction flux. Okay, because opposite flux will cancel the original flux. Uh, produce the opposite flux. Uh, this is the induced flux, which is opposite direction. Okay, uh, so uh, it will produce opposite direction induced flux okay you we'll produce opposite direction induced flux okay uh, so opposite direction means uh, the original flux is going into the page so the induced flux is going out of the page going out of the page okay uh, this is because um, uh, oppose the changes means when the flux is increasing uh, uh, try to oppose the increase by decreasing the flux, okay? Uh, you try to oppose, so you must produce an opposite direction flux, so to, to decrease the increasing flux, okay? Uh, so, uh, the induced flux is in uh, opposite direction, now, which is uh, when the flux, original flux into the page, so the induced flux will be out of the page. And then we use the uh, right hand grip rule to determine the direction of induced current. Okay, uh, still remember the, the thumb is the magnetic field and the finger is the current. Okay, so uh, referring to the induced flux, okay, so our thumb, uh, is the flux, induced flux is going out of the page, so our thumb is out of the page. And the finger is the current, okay? Current, so current is um, anti-clockwise. The induced current is anti-clockwise, okay? Uh, so the induced current is anti-clockwise, okay? Now, for the second situation, from B to C, uh, the original flux has no changes, okay? Uh, full of flux, this one also full of flux. So the change of flux here is uh, no change, okay? The flux is, uh, the original flux is constant. No increase, no decrease. So there's no changes to oppose, okay? So there's no changes to oppose. So we can say uh, the no, so since there's no changes of flux, so there's no oppose of changes so no flux induced no flux induced is produced okay also there's no there's no induced current okay and uh, none okay uh, there's no induced there's no induced current okay because there's no induced flux okay because uh, there's no changes of flux happening so there's no induced flux Okay, now, the third situation, okay, from C to D, the change of flux happening here is the flux decreasing. The original flux is decreasing. The original flux is decreasing, okay? So, to oppose the decrease, it has to increase back the flux, okay? To, 
when it decreases, it will try to increase. Uh, like this one, when in the flux is increasing, it, it try to decrease. Yeah? This is what I mean by oppose. Uh, Lenz law. Yeah? When the flux is increasing, then the induced flux will try to decrease. Decrease. Uh, if the flux is original flux is decreasing, to oppose means uh, when the flux is decreasing, so the induced flux will be same direction. Uh, same direction, induced flux. Okay, uh, will be same direction because the, when the flux is decreasing, the induced flux try to increase back. The increase back by the, by producing same direction induced flux. Ah, okay. Uh, this is what I mean by oppose to oppose the changes. Okay, so to produce same direction flux, so the origin flux is into the page, so the induced flux will be also into the page. Ah, it will be into the page, same direction as the induced flux. Ah, this is the induced flux, same direction with the original flux. Because the flux is decreasing, uh, so the induced flux will be trying to increase back, try to increase back. Yeah? Uh, so it produces same direction flux. Okay? Uh, so uh, using our uh, right hand rule, using our right hand rule, uh, so uh, the thumb is the flux, so the flux is into the page, the flux is into the page, uh, the thumb into the page, so our current will be, is the, the current is the finger, yeah? the current is the finger, the finger is clockwise, okay, the finger is clockwise. Uh, okay, uh, so this is the induced current, so our current is clockwise. Okay? Mm. Thank you.